had to leave that little gem of a campground. But we're on our way to Ohio. I'm gonna take Maggie to Kentucky so she can see it too. Good morning. Today we're in Geneva, Ohio, and today is Covered Bridges Day. Come along with us and we'll show you why. The first covered bridge we're gonna show you today is the Liberty Street Covered Bridge, right here in Geneva, Ohio. And I gotta tell you, it's not the longest. Do you wanna know why? Why? Because it's the shortest. Now, when I say the shortest, I mean the shortest in the United States. This thing spans 18 feet. 18 feet. <laughs> they even advertise it. Now, the reason it looks new is because it just opened in 2011. So you're probably thinking, did they replace the original covered bridge? Nope, they replaced a concrete culvert. They decided that they could build this bridge for about the same cost as rebuilding the culvert, roughly $400,000. So why not just rebuild the culvert instead? Well, if they did, then we wouldn't be here telling you about this story. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> Once you build the shortest covered bridge, it becomes a tourist thing. And not only did they build the shortest covered bridge, they also built a replica of a toll house too, to give a look back into the pioneer times when it cost to cross these bridges. Pretty cool. You'd almost think that they could have called this coat hanger covered bridge. <laughs> Local art design. There's nobody here to take the toll. Maybe it's the toll take his day off. <laughs> now that we have shown you the shortest covered bridge in the United States, you are looking at the longest covered bridge in the United States. That's the Smolden Gulf Covered Bridge, coming in at 613 feet. Yep, Ohio owns claim to the longest and the shortest covered bridges in the same county, Astabula, along with 17 others in the same county. That must be why they call it Ohio's Covered Bridge Capital. Let's take a walk across the largest covered bridge in the United States. There is a five foot walkway on both sides for people to cross on. And there's my lovely wife, Cheryl. So the bridge spans across Indian Trails Park and the Astabula River. Just a view of the architecture of the bridge. Those support beams, huh? Coming down. Can you hear the pigeons cooing up there? And the river. Look at the wall this river has created. I'm almost wondering if this is for flooding. You have the wall going over to Route 11, which is high. Coming across the round, see where the power lines are, that's all high. Coming back around to where we parked is also high. I wonder if it's for flood control. Huh. I wonder how high this river actually gets. I don't know. But because right now, you could walk through it. Yep. You could get wet. Yeah. <laughs> and this is about 93 feet off the ground. So, can't imagine it gets that deep. Cool wall, though. Yeah, that's, that's definitely something else. All right, now many of you know that Cheryl and I are from New Hampshire. And until this covered bridge was built, we had the longest covered bridge in the country, the Cornish Windsor Covered Bridge, coming in at 449 and a half feet. We held that record from 1866 until Ohio constructed this one in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> And the walkway on the other side of the bridge. Also, five feet wide. <laughs> I wonder where that street went, huh? <laughs> but as we pan from this side of the bridge, wait for it. Oh my God, it's another covered bridge that we can see from this one. That is Astabula County's 19th covered bridge down there, the Riverview Bridge. All right, speaking of our covered bridges in New Hampshire, here's a shot I don't think I can get anywhere. <laughs> Two covered bridges in the viewfinder at the same time. I don't think so. <laughs> now that we are almost level with the Astabula River, give you a good look at that wall. The tree doesn't seem like it wants to stay. 
And there it is, the Riverview Bridge in Indian Trails Park. Echo! Echo! The discovered bridge was meant to mirror its big brother up there. Except, of course, it doesn't have the pedestrian walkways on either side of it because it's a pedestrian bridge only. Now, the newest bridge in the county is 150 feet long. It's 14 feet wide. That's how it's constructed. October 2016, this was opened. going over the same river as its big brother. Oh, in case you're wondering, there is a geocache out in this area. About second try at first attempt. Yes, we found it. <laughs> By the way, the hint's off. <laughs> Look at my note. <laughs> <laughs> engines. Now the last time that we came to Geneva, Ohio, <laughs> we got stopped by a train. It was Maggie's first train. <laughs> it's disappointing that there's not cabooses anymore. Yes, it is. We will link to that video. Oh, here comes the eye right there. And gate skull. Up. Go, people. Patience. <laughs> Which is probably another train coming. Nope. Ding, 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 ding. We are at our fourth covered bridge of the day, and this one's a little bit different. I mean, <laughs> serves pizza. <laughs> yes, it is a covered bridge that is a pizza restaurant, too. Cool. Let's go in. Welcome to the Covered Bridge Pizza Parlor and Eatery. Mm. Now this used to be a real covered bridge. It was the Foreman Road Covered Bridge and it was located in Eagleville, Ohio. Now the history on this bridge is in 1862 it was built and it was 126 feet long. Then in 1972 it was sold to the highest bidder for $5. When they dismantled it, they numbered all the boards to make sure it was reconstructed in the exact same way. Hey, do you think that's the original uh, Maybe. I wonder what they numbered that one. <laughs> anyway, it took three years to get the permits to rebuild the bridge. Once the permits were had, they cut the bridge in half and used it in two separate locations as pizza parlors. I can't come to a covered bridge pizza parlor and not order pizza. Right, huh? No. <laughs> How's your pizza? Delicious. Really good. <laughs> they seem to be different when they're made in a covered bridge. <laughs> now, you might be wondering why they ever built covered bridges to begin with. We were, so we looked it up. Originally, they were built to protect the bridges, trusses, and floors from rain and snow to help prevent rot and decay. We also read that the original ones, like this one, were built with sides so that when horses and cattle crossed over, they wouldn't get spooked seeing water running underneath them. And there you go. All right, everybody. We hope you enjoyed our sampling of the 19 covered bridges in Astrobula County, also known as Ohio's Covered Bridge capital. Mm -hmm. It was just a short little visit. <laughs> yeah. We showed you the shortest, we showed you the longest, we showed you the newest, and we showed you our personal favorite, the one that serves pizza. Mm, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, Ohio, we don't hold it against you that you took away New Hampshire's claim to fame for having the longest covered bridge, <laughs> but we still had the title for the longest. <laughs> so that. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, we're at Willow Lake Campground. We got here yesterday afternoon. We are leaving tomorrow morning, so this was a short little visit. So we were glad we got to do something while we were here. Where are we going? We're headed to New York. Do we want to go? Yes and no. No, because it's getting colder. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a little chilly. Yeah, the further east that we go, it's just going to get colder. And the further east we go also means that our practice run will be coming to an end soon. And we're not looking forward to it. But we are not over yet. We are going to... Arrowhead Marina and Campground. Some of you may remember we did a campground review on that. If you're interested in seeing what it looks like before we get there, the link right there will take you to it. <laughs> so we are only staying there for two nights, so we're going to have one full day. Not because we're moving on because we want to, but because we're closing them down. Mm. They are closing on Sunday for just, the season. Just like Sherwood Forest. <laughs> yep, this will be the second campground that we close down. <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, what we are looking forward to going east is when we get there, our friends Rich and Yvette are going to be there. So we're looking forward to seeing them again because we have not seen them since the last time we were at Arrowhead. Yep. Other than that, is there anything? I think that's it. Okay. I think we covered everything. All right. So what, uh, <laughs> what we normally do, if you enjoyed this, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. And if you want to become part of the Get Gone With Us gang, little red button down there, you can go ahead and just push that. It's pain free, won't hurt a bit. <laughs> uh, feel free to share and comment this video. Right down below. Ooh, and speaking of, speaking of, we had somebody get a hold of us via email and ask if they could put our winterizing video on their social media pages. And we were like, sure. I mean, you guys are more than welcome to put it out there if you feel that you've got friends, family, whoever would be, you know, enjoy help or, you know, or help them out. Thanks. Like, you, like Cheryl just helped me out. <laughs> uh, watching our videos, it would help us to grow the channel too, so we would appreciate it. The way that you do it, uh, right under this video, right next to where the thumbs up and thumbs down are, you'll see a share button. Click on that. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter. There's a few but yeah, little, Google Plus. little icons there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever you have, you can free, feel free to share it there. And while we're talking social media, don't forget to check out Cheryl's blog. It's not mine anymore. She took it all. <laughs> you can check that out at getgonewithus.com. Uh, I think we covered it all, right? Yeah. All right then. Um, so, I guess I'm Chuck, <laughs> and I'm Cheryl. <laughs> We're getting going with us. Bye. <laughs> the first covered bridge we're going to show you today, the Ohio Covered Bridge, right here in Geneva.